There is a lot in the news these days about private school vouchers and how damaging they are to public education. But what are vouchers and what do they mean for North Carolina? Vouchers are programs that funnel tax dollars to private schools or directly to families to educate students outside of the public school system. Vouchers in North Carolina were first signed into law in 1956, just two years after the Supreme Court ruled in Brown v. Board of Education that schools could not be segregated by race. The vouchers were created to avoid desegregation. The vouchers paid a private school tuition for students who were assigned to an integrated school against their wishes. In the late 1960s, the vouchers were declared unconstitutional. North Carolina's next voucher program became law in 2013. Opportunity scholarship vouchers work by having families apply to the state. Then the state pays tuition directly to the private school. Two voucher programs for students with disabilities soon followed, and in 2021, they were combined into one program. The Opportunity Scholarship is North Carolina's largest voucher program and has been expanded steadily so more families would enroll. At first, the vouchers were limited to low-income families whose students attended a low-performing public school. Vouchers paid up to $4,200 for each student's tuition at a private school. Over the years, funding for vouchers was increased even though there was money left over at the end of every year. But instead of shrinking the program or recognizing that it wasn't all that popular, voucher supporters in the legislature decided to spend tax dollars to market the program. In the 2021 budget, they gave up to half a million dollars each year to market vouchers and help families apply. In 2023, they doubled the marketing budget to $1 million per year. Along with the marketing push, funding for vouchers increased dramatically. What started out as $10.8 million has skyrocketed to hundreds of millions each year. In September, the legislature passed a bill to spend even more. Governor Cooper vetoed the bill, but the legislature may override his veto. If they do, North Carolina will spend $616 million on vouchers this year alone and will be spending nearly a billion dollars on vouchers each year by 2033. Starting in 2024, there are no longer income limits on who can apply. Now even the wealthiest families can get public funds to send their children to private school. And students don't have to have attended public school. Now, all students who are already in private school can apply. Private schools receiving this money have no accountability for how the money is spent. In fact, they have virtually no requirements at all. They don't participate in the state accountability program, and they don't have to follow curriculum standards, hire licensed teachers, provide transportation, or school lunches. They don't have to make their financial record public or have staff pass a criminal background check. Private schools aren't governed by an elected school board accountable to the public. In North Carolina, private schools can choose which students to accept. While they are prohibited from discriminating based on race, ethnicity, or national origin, state law doesn't prevent other forms of discrimination. Many school vouchers go to private religious schools that often only admit students from families that share their religious beliefs. Others may refuse students who are LGBTQ or have disabilities, weak academic records, or come from families they consider not the right fit. With voucher programs, schools choose the students they want to educate. When vouchers were first introduced in North Carolina, more than half of the students using them were black and 27% were white. Now only 19% are black and 63% are white. The gap is expected to grow now that all wealthy private school families can get a school voucher. Vouchers are taking the state back to the 1950s and 1960s. So who really benefits from vouchers? Based on what's happened in other states, it's families who have never sent their children to public school. In state after state, data is showing that the majority of voucher users have always attended private school. And voucher programs don't improve student achievement. In fact, data shows that voucher students often perform worse, especially in math. In some studies, the impact of using a voucher was worse for student achievement than the impact of COVID. 
In North Carolina, private schools using vouchers don't give the same tests as public schools. They get to choose which test to give and don't have to report results to the public, so there's no way to compare student achievement. Legislators have designed a system that leaves the public in the dark about whether vouchers are helping or hurting student learning. Don't let public dollars go to unaccountable, discriminatory, private, mostly religious schools. Public dollars belong in public schools that serve all students and unite our communities. Contact your legislators today and encourage them to spend public dollars on public schools. Urge them to uphold Governor Cooper's veto of House Bill 10.